Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's an honor uh, to be able to speak to Casey and uh, Molly's Law 225. Mr. Speaker, Canadians want fairness. Canadians want justice. And I think this is a prime example and an opportunity to provide that justice in Canada. We are in a situation where a piece of legislation uh, called the Unborn Victims of Crime was presented to a previous parliament. And that parliament decided that, yes, this is worthy to be debated. And there was a vote to, uh, at second reading, for it to go on to committee. Unfortunately, time ran out and that parliament ended. And that was a former member of parliament, Ken Epp. So we now have a, a new law, and it's similar, but it's been refined to clarify that this is, is not about the issue of abortion. This is about justice. And Mr. Speaker, what I, would, uh, what I think and I believe strongly is that Canadians would like this to at least be sent to committee, to the Justice Committee. For clarity, uh, in this House, a, it is a, um, a rarity that a, a member of Parliament would be given a, a number at the beginning of Parliament, and that number is the order of precedence. And, uh, and the member that has introduced this bill uh, was given that unique opportunity of a low number. And, um, and there's that connect, too, and she had respected the former uh, the minister, the uh, former minister, our member, uh, Ken Epp, and, uh, and remembered that time where that bill had been sent to committee. And now here she finds herself representing her community and given that opportunity with a private member's bill. And that's an honor. It's a privilege. Uh, and it was laid on her heart, and she, she heard the story about Jeff Durham and the tragic loss where his, his partner was carrying their seven-month-old uh, uh, preborn child. And they were excited. And then for him to lose both his wife, his, his partner, and, and his little girl that was yet to be born, who was already named Molly, um, seven months old. So just a couple of months, and Molly would have been born. And, Mr. Speaker, he wants justice. Canadians want justice. And I believe strongly, and I think majority in Parliament here would, would agree, that Jeff Durham deserves the opportunity to go to the Justice Committee and tell his story and, and why he believes we need changes in, in the Criminal Code of Canada. At this point, the Criminal Code does not recognize the loss of Molly. It recognizes the loss of Casey. And, Mr. Speaker, the government has said that they are opposed to all forms of gender violence, all. And this is, this is their opportunity to vote, to allow it to go to committee. And that's what the vote will, will be happening shortly on the second reading. And this is tradi uh, traditionally a private member's bill is a free vote. And I would hope that the prime minister would allow justice, yeah, yeah. would allow fairness, would allow transparency, and would allow victims of crime in Canada an opportunity to have a voice in this parliament. And that will only happen if members of a majority government, a liberal majority government, give the opportunity to Mr. Jeff Durham and others to come to committee and speak. If they vote against 225, it it ends, it dies. And justice is not served. Fairness is not served. And so, Mr. Speaker, I, I cannot dream what it would be like to experience the loss that Jeff Durham and family has experienced. But he, I believe, has the moral right to go and stand before committee, the, stand, the Justice Committee, the Standing Committee. And that's what this structure, this parliament has been set up exactly for examples like this. And to cut the process short, I think, uh, would be a travesty of justice. Mr. Speaker, if after hearing from a victim and, and the government still cons considers that 225 should not be supported, that would be their opportunity after this has been sent to committee. 
but to cut it short before the victim has a chance to speak and present their loss and why they strongly be believe that the criminal code needs to be changed and improved is not transparent, is not open, is not inclusive. So this is an opportunity to really, uh, it's a test for this parliament. Is this parliament a majority parliament where the, the Liberal Party of Canada and the Prime Minister have a majority in this House? This is their opportunity to do the right thing. And Mr. Speaker, I trust that they will. They've said that they're not going to support this, but I, I, I believe that there should have a, a second thought, a, an opportunity to reconsider and an opportunity to allow Jeff Durham and others to come to the Standing Committee of Justice. By removing that opportunity, I think would leave a very unfortunate message that only certain people, only certain issues will have an opportunity for justice. Only certain issues will the government listen and consider. Is this a, an opportunity where we should listen, should allow a victim to have a voice? I, I believe so. This is a prime example. And so I, I count on the government. I, I ask the government, and particularly every member in this House, to allow Jeff Durham and family to have a voice, a voice to call for justice, a voice to call for an amendment. Please allow. Mr. Speaker, I ask this, this House to please allow justice to prevail in this land. Canada is known as a country where you can be treated fair. You can accomplish whatever you want with hard work and commitment. And Mr. Speaker, this is that opportunity for this House to show its true colors, show its true colors of justice, fairness, respect for law, respect for justice. And, Mr. Speaker, I, the world watch, watches things like this. And it also, our children, look at things like this. And this is a political house, a partisan house at times. But this is also an opportunity to lay aside partisan issues here, here. and to do the right thing. Here, here. Each of us are here for a short period of time. Each of us will look back at our time here and we will do some soul searching and think, did I do the right thing on that? And maybe at all times we don't do the right thing. But this is a, uh, an issue of conscience, Mr. Speaker. It's been clearly made very clear that this is not reopening the issue of abortion. It's should the victim have the right to share their experience, the travesty that they went through? Would that be part of a healing process? I hope so. And hopefully this House will not deny justice to be done. And so I, I thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.